Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. And today, okay, I didn't have a video yesterday. All the time lately, I have uploaded at least Monday through Thursday and a lot of times on Friday. All right, today, I've got a Sephora order. <laughs> and it was actually for one thing, but, um, you know, our play pass to stay active, like, May stays active to the end of June. Like, you can technically go in store, but May's was their two-year anniversary, so if you spent at least 25 online and you use the code, you could add 50 points to your in Beauty Insider Rewards thing. So, that's what I did instead of actually redeeming it for another sample, because you can only use one code at a time, which is just irritating, especially when it's the code to just put more points on your card or your, your account. Whatever. So, I ordered one thing else to make this over 25. So, let's go ahead and get in my samples. The, and it was good. I just, I felt like perfumes more than their other samples. And I actually got all of them but one. One's different than the ones I wanted. Uh, this is the Victor and Ralph Flower Balm, which I love so much. Let's see how much they gave. It smells so good. One day I will have to buy, like, the big size. It's so expensive, though. <laughs> Okay, and these two I don't have. Um, this is the Chloe Nomad. Um, I don't think I've ever smelled, scented it, or smelled it. Character Oak Moss, illuminated by Radiant Freesia and Chris Tangy Mirabelle. Like that is. Let's break my card. I like their. I think I like their regular Chloe. Oh, that ain't bad. It might almost verge a woman, but not quite. It it it's got enough into the notes to remind me. If it had patchouli in it, it would so like. I don't think it does, but it would be a obvious fell. So it's not horrible. This is the one I didn't choose, but they put it in here. This is the Stella McCartney Peony Peony Peony. And I actually like peony scents, but if this is a solid floral, I don't know. It's a Darren blend of peppery florals and ambergris. Gris? Ambergris. Oh, that smells good. That is a good, like, fall winter scent. Yes. Okay. Fun. I ordered the Sephora cream stain, which I've heard good things about. I think I have one that's red. But anyway, this one was on sale for seven bucks and it's Mandarin Muse. And it was like the last color left. And I was like, why? I love orange. This is like a hot orange. This reminds me a lot of, I mean, it's less bright than that, but it reminds me a lot of Fire by Bare Minerals. Yeah. Look at that. Those might almost be the same. So it might be deeper, but X fireball vibes. Maybe not. I'm going to swatch them by each other just because I want to swatch them by each other. Okay, that's X fireball. Okay, yeah, it's brighter. Go ahead and put this on just because I feel like I need a lippy on. I'm sorry if I talk low. My head's, like, killing me. I should have put on, took something earlier, and I didn't. I took something recently, but not, like, I'm going to like um, swatch fire beside that just because I want to see how close they are. Okay, yeah. Fire is a bit deeper. Yeah, that one's like bright orange. I do like it. It is a very wearable color. I don't know. can't talk for the formula. Like long lasting, not long lasting. The thing I mostly wanted to order is the Play Smarts by Sephora. The sucker was $20. Uh, the theme is why I ordered it. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive on in. They sealed it with a little piece of tape. And it says, you got your box ready to play. Dig in. 
uh, get familiar with your new BD and play with your smart cards, which are these. Watch, tune into your live crash course to get the lowdown on your new beauty. Don't forget to ask questions. Shop, bring your smart pass in store to receive 50 bonus in beauty insider points with any purchase. And then brag, bask in your genius and share your skills on social. Hashtag support. Okay. Though I'll admit, this bag is cute. Okay, it's like that thingy. Because like, though so they're a little bit more stiff, like, Let's give, but maybe they wouldn't the bag to have less give. This be cute. I can see like cutting off this little Sephora tag and like, you know, girl on a prom, like, because it has like loops. Like that'd be such a cute little like prom little bag, you know, clutch, put your little phone and your little, um, maybe lippy and some money. <laughs> We've got these little cards, um, and it says glitter eyes for real life. Watch your crash course July 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central or Eastern. Welcome to your comprehensive guide to conquering the glitter eye trend. Why? Who? Why? Oh, this is the pass, by the way. It's hoping. Like, I'm already disappointed. Like, for actually more glitter. Glitter eyes. I'm like, you theme a bag glitter eyes. I expect more stuff targeted to the eyes that are glittery. No. But however, first thing first is this itty bitty bitty bitty. This is even smaller than the little $12 ones that Ulta offers, you know, that are like the half size of the other ones. So this is smaller than that. But this is Dila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and Kitten Karma, which I am not applicating allergic to is the metallic liquid eyeshadow in a peachy champagne shade packed with copper and silver sparkle liquid eyeshadow is a true glorious glitter water infused formula dries down quickly for total control and minimal fallout the wand or you can do that with this four collection contour thing which is coming up by the way and do like that look i'm like or you put it over another eyeshadow i just i don't need help with the glitter trend but you know, whatever. I mean, this is so small. You probably have like two or three uses out of it. But my other one wants to be all dry now for some reason. Like, that's what it looks like. I'm not using a lot because my other one like, is like all dry. Like, I don't know why. It just dried up. I'm like, I've used it twice. Next crappy thing. Okay, that's not crappy, but that's a small size and definitely does not warrant the $20 price tag of this day in box. Neither does this. Um, this is Sephora Collection Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof and Black Lace. So again, a black liner. Like, we don't get those all the time and I'm pretty sure I got this not too long ago. This one does say waterproof, but morning evening anytime black liner is timeless apply to it directly from pencil smudge its finger and they're saying you can get that you can probably get that the first time you use it maybe the wing up there the rest of time is gonna look like that so oh my gosh you have to take notes thing i'm actually interested in trying because i have not gotten a sample of this in anything surprisingly uh, is the Benefit Cosmetics ba Bad Gal Bang Ultra Lightweight Mascara that uses air particles derived from space technology to add volume and length without clumping. Long wear formula is loaded with Pro Vitamin B5 to promote natural growth. Um, and it, it comes with a glitter guard. You can cut that out and put it underneath your eyeball to catch the glitter. But I've been interested in I mean, some people like it, some people don't. I don't want to mess with it right now because you know, my eyes are just like really sensitive. Right? So I'm actually excited to try this even though I've heard really mixed things and I do not like this kind of wand because it, I did not like the real mascara because of this type of one, the really spiky thing. But I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Thing I got. That's just interesting. It's from Ole Henriksen. I don't think I've really ever gotten a sample from Ole Henriksen. Surprising. Again, surprisingly, has for a play over a year. Hmm. 
uh, a brightening, this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream, a brightening eye cream that targets fine lines and dis disguises dark circles with this yellow hue inspired by banana powder. Use in the morning before makeup or at night before bed. Apply to under eye area with ring finger. The brightening eye cream is the perfect base for under eye concealer and essential, especially if any glitter travels south. And dab onto a cotton swab to clean up any eye makeup grant gone astray. Which you I didn't know. I wouldn't use that for nothing. My creams are expensive. Um, store the jar in the refrigerator for double the deep puffing action. Use it to defend against signs of Asian around your lips and forehead. Fun fact, the pale yellow pigment in this eye cream was inspired by makeup artists who used banana powder as their secret weapon to disguise dark circles on set. So actually this thing I'm interested in, I have actually been using my Belief eye cream surprisingly at night, but it's more because ColourPop was making me look really dried and creepy under there, even though I like the coverage better than a couple other concealers. but. Color pop was making me look like really creepy, so I started like dried creepy. So I started using that to moisturize underneath my eyebrow. So it comes in this huge ball. But it's even smaller than the belief. It could be about the same amount because the belief like has a deceiving like under thing. But yeah, that, that's what it like. It has a sealy thingy. That's a light fruit scent, so. No, it's interesting. Y'all know I need help with my hill eyes. And so it actually has a pigment to help like before makeup. I might throw it in my bag and actually use it. Who knows? The next thing that's in here. Now this is interesting because I've heard really good things about this. And I don't mind my eyelashes. I think they're fine. But that doesn't mean that they can't be fuller in a little longer. But this is from Grande. And hint is the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum, an award-winning lash enhancing serum that promotes rapid growth with vitamins, amino acids, and antioxidants. Used as the last step before bed, apply to the lash line with brush included. Um, and you have to remove all your eye makeup before application and wipe excess product off the brush. Brush along the skin closest to lashes from the inner corner out. Use every night before bed until it's gone but your sample has enough serum for six weeks of treatment which is the perfect amount of time to see longer fuller lashes um. okay I don't see anything that should be bad water hyaluronic acid like I am real anxious in this it's like it's like texture That's cool. I'm not knocking this because that's a good way to try this. Um, this is from Bite Beauty and it is the Prismatic Pearl Multi Stick in Rose Pearl, a surprisingly wearable, shimmery, shimmery multi stick that changes its tone depending on the light and angle. Morning, evening, anywhere, glitter, nose, and a bounce apply to lids, cheeks, or lips directly from tube or with your finger. But I'm not going to. I don't know what's in this. It could be carmine in this, okay? So I won't use this as an eye thingy. Like, and look, it's so subtle. Like, that's it. Okay. I'm pretty, yeah, I guess. But I wouldn't. But it is pretty. That amount, you can see that. In this color, rose pearl. I probably use that as a lid shade on the outer corner. I don't know who put that in. But I was going to use it anyway to be like that. So what we're going to do is we're... I'd have to look at the ingredients before I put it on my lid. But And add something. Hmm. That's interesting. Because I like how that looks. Was this worth $20? No. Because I don't think it warranted the $20 with the, even though you got six things, it wasn't like uber high end. Like their last limited edition boxes were, I don't see any YSL. Though this stuff is really expensive and that's a good amount supply for six weeks. Um, and even this is too, but it's like, it's not Tom Ford, it's not Tory Burch, it's not Tony Burch, it's not Marc Jacobs, it's not... Dior or YSL or anything like that. 
$20 price tag, but hey, keep it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.